I'm not gonna go into like the long history of、uh, how the oldest eye tracker was set up or invented. I'm just gonna go through one of the most common eye tracker that we nowadays use, which is、uh, the iLink 1000 desktop、um, eye tracker. This is the actual eye tracker in our one of our labs.、Uh, the room is quite small, but it it works for the purpose.、Um, do, It, this is this is the setup. So this is the screen that the participant will see, and as you can see, this is、uh, there's image. I put an image on the screen. That's essentially my eye. I I I was a participant. That that's my hair. If you can see,、um, and then so that's the screen. That's that's where you show participant whatever stimuli you want to show them. You want to show them picture. They will look at the picture. They will show them a, a paragraph to a, narr a narrative for them to read, and then they will read the、uh, the text.、Um, so this thing, this big box here, is the eye tracker, and you get like kind of kind of a full view here. So it has a stand、uh, which stabilizes the device, and it has a kind of a rotatable、uh, neck, so you can you can aim the The eye tracker at participant's face, just in case you know, someone's a bit taller or, or shorter, or, or or you have to adjust the angle to make sure the tracking is working、uh, well. And this is the、uh, on this particular eye tracker, you can see there is a camera on the left hand side. This this round little camera over here, and you have a, a big black box、uh, because I I took a picture of it with my phone. You can actually see the、uh, the near infrared light within the black box, but with with naked eye you can't see it. It is just a black box. And、uh, here on this table we also have a adjustable chin rest and forehead rest. And what does that mean? So if you look at the top bar here, it's it's got a little bit of a curve, and that's where you'll kind of rest your forehead against. So you're gonna be leaning forward, and then you have this blue padded surface where where you will put your chin. You will rest your chin under there. So you got two point, kind of a two support system where you can basically secure the head to make sure that people are not gonna move their head as they do whatever task they're doing. In an ideal world, you want people to stay still. Throughout the experiment, just the tracking is accurate.、Uh, I'm going to show you a, a small video of what it looks like when someone is、um, reading something. Okay, so this is uh, uh, this is a different screen. This is the other screen where the researcher have access.、Um, and here on this screen, this is the interface for iLink 1000 eye tracker. And of course, for different eye trackers, you might have different kinds of interface, and then what you see here might be different.、Uh, so essentially, this participant is reading four lines of text, and you got a blue circle here, which is what the computer believes that this person is looking at at the moment. And because the、uh, the eye movement is calibrated, so we can see that this blue circle is at the beginning of this paragraph. Okay, so if I play it. As you can see, okay. As you can see, that that blue circle、uh, kind of、um, move quite quite smoothly from left to right. So that person is a very skilled reader, and it reads like from left to right. Very, it might have been me actually. <laughs> I'm not a skilled reader. I'm just.、Uh, I'll pretend to demonstrate that、uh, what it will be like if、uh, if I read it、uh, skillfully.、Um, basically, that blue circle doesn't move smoothly; it doesn't glide across the text. I'll just show you again. It kind of moves in little jumps.、Um, so each jump, when it stops, that's a fixation, and then the little jump between two consecutive fixations. Th these are the saccades, and occasionally you will find that people are blinking. And if you close your eyes, obviously,、uh, you will lose tracking. So, how does an eye tracker work? Well, this is your eye, 
all eye trackers have some kind of a light source which will create a reflection a cornea reflection or, or glinked whatever you call it uh, which is the little white dot here so light source this is supposed to be near infrared okay so the eye tracker the computer essentially is trying to figure out okay where is your pupil and what is the distance between your pupil which is center of the eye and your uh, reflection and as we know the light source is fixed so your reflection will stay exactly where it is but when you move your eyes your 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 pupil moves okay so let's say if you look at the this is in their perspective they're looking at the top left corner of the screen and um, as you can see the reflection will stay exactly where they are but because you're moving the pupil the dark bit the distance between the center of your pupil and the glinked the reflection will change if that person looks to the right and again the reflection will stay exactly where they are but because you're moving the eye to the right the uh, the distance and the positions the relative positions of your pupil and the reflection will change and a computer will use that information to figure out exactly where you're looking at and that's basically how an eye tracker works.